Uh, Palu and Wolf, we know he plays those. Uh, he said he was playing Young Link in the beginning, but kind of stopped playing him a lot. And uh, Diddy Kong was his Smash 4 main alongside Sonic, so he was like, whatever. And uh, Simon, yep, he thinks he's really fun in this game, so I'm not surprised uh, to see Simon on here. So, All right. All right. This should be an interesting match for sure. And we're starting Simon versus Wolf. Let's rock it. Throws across the way to kind of come back. So what do you think about Simon in this game? Uh, people were saying he was really strong in the beginning, but I felt like he kind of fell off. Uh, really, really polarizing character. Okay. Like, uh, it's like, you know how people said, maybe wrongfully in Smash 4, that uh, 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 Cloud was like a better Little Mac in terms of his recovery because sometimes he could just die? Yes, I've heard Simon that. is the character that's just in between. Like, interesting. better Little Mac, I think, worse Cloud. You know what? That was a pretty good comparison. Because, again, uh, Simon's recovery, very exploitable like both characters. But uh, he has the range like Cloud, but not exactly every tool that you want like Cloud. So I can definitely see that. Yeah, and more than that, his airspeed is kind of terrible. So generally yep. speaking, you hit him far enough, he's not coming back uh, similar to Little Mac. But uh, I do think that his neutral control is enough such that he's not going to get thrown off stage as often as Little Mac will. Absolutely. But in either case, the characters might just die at zero randomly. So yep. It's one of those things that's sort of consistent across all matchups, so it can't really be like, oh, well, th uh, he's just volatile like everyone else. No, he's volatile in a way that uh, is completely different than everyone else, I think. Yep. I agree. All right, but we have uh, Seagull Joe's Diddy out here, man. I feel like, is this Smash 4 we're watching? <laughs> uh, so Diddy significantly nerfed. Uh, from what most Diddy Kong players have been saying, Zenodo doesn't play him anymore. Zero definitely doesn't play him anymore. Ooh! Uh, but good F smash, pressuring with the shield with the banana and uh, catching the shield drop and uh, getting the stock. Yep, good stuff. So Seagull's Diddy already doing a good amount of work. Yep. Keeping it even and uh, doing work against Falco right now. Ooh, we moving though. Yep, Seagull still remembers the traps. Gonna yep. get the banana there. Oh, good uh, high recovery by ZD right there. He did not want anything to do with the left trapping anymore. Okay. Good up tilt. Oh, good uh, anti-air, too. All right. Up tilt. Not going to take a stock. Going to be able to air dodge right oh, past. Smash. Very nice. Down tilt. No down tilt. Uh, barrels. Oh, wow. I was about Ooh. to praise Barrel in this game, and then that just happened. Oh, <laughs> uh, yeah. No, no, no. Barrels, barrels are not, not great. So the thing is, it's like I, their distance was reduced, but I feel like their kill power was increased. So you see more Diddy Kong using it as an aggressive option, uh, even the ones who would usually consider that too crazy in Smash 4. Yep. But uh, at the same time, uh, it, it, as a recovery move, it's kind of there. It's definitely been nerfed significantly. So, yeah. But uh, we have uh, Joe's Young Link out here now. Yeah, yeah uh, Siegel has a really good Young Link, I think. If only because I feel like uh, he he can switch between like different types of pressure really well. Because Siegel yep. is really good at uh, being patient as a player. But then it's like when he gets in, he's also able to make good use of uh, Young Link's pressure, his safe on shield aerials, his conversion, stuff like that. Yep, absolutely. And that's uh, showing right now. Honestly, like if his conversions were slightly better, he, I would say like he should just main Young Link. But of course, he has the love for the wolf. So, I feel like Young Link will be one of those characters that will get better as the meta progresses because he's a very uh, high execution character to get the confirms from his projectiles and his neutral down. Indeed. So uh, definitely a good pickup. But uh, ZD's Falco is kind of looking pretty hot right now, erasing two stocks and still living. All right. Okay, up tilt. Wow, that just barely hit his feet right there. Okay. Seagull's pride and joy versus uh, ZD, the best Falco in the region. Yep. <laughs> I miss Osiris already. <laughs> <laughs> All right, but uh, finally, uh, Seagull take cleaning up the stock right there. And uh, now we have ZD's Roy. I've never seen this before. Yeah, it's one of those things where it's like ZD's a good enough player that you're typically going to see some good stuff. But, I mean, there is already like a, all right, he's definitely on a Roy main. He gets that uh, jab, but uh, messes up the RAR and gets in there instead. Ooh, Ooh that's going to be good it, Good delay on the 4B. Very nice. 
And uh, Roy, if he hits you with that hilt, man, like you just explode. <laughs> Indeed. Very, very good for ZD thus far. Good. Waits to uh, use a jump for ages, but... Interesting to see Joe using Palu last. Maybe he's just more comfortable against most matchups with Palu than Wolf. Yeah, I mean, it's that, or he just decided that his Wolf would maybe be able to clean up a little bit more before he even got to the last character. That's also an interesting take. And uh, maybe ZD going with the same strategy because uh, Fox being his next to last character right now. You see most strategies would just make your main or your best character you're most comfortable with your last character, but we're not really seeing that from these guys. Yep. Ooh, runs right into the shield, and Seagull not going to be uh, fooled by it. Already is understood uh, and shed his Smash 4. Oh, and Brawl Instincts. Wow. Not killing. How often do you see a Fox up Smash not kill right there? Ooh, gets hit by the upbeat. Firefox in motion. Yep. And Seagull's not, not expect, probably not expecting to get hit right there and was not ready to detect. And yeah. he died for it. It's right. actually one of the biggest uh, improvements for Fox because it's like typically it's like, all right, Fox has a bad recovery. But now, uh, basically, with the buff on his up B hitbox, it's basically like, all right, well, either you're going to hit him cleanly or you're going to get hit. Yep. And you might get stage spiked and you might die. Absolutely. And it uh, just showed right there. Wonder if we're gonna see the same characters because uh, when Dexter and EMP were playing, they were just switching characters back and forth. But we'll see how this goes. I really like Seagull's Diddy. I hope he keeps him. He was doing work with him. Yeah, no, for sure. Uh, Seagull still has a good Diddy. It's just that Diddy is a character. It's kind of not nearly as good, but I mean, nope. Seagull still knows a lot of the tricks and stuff like that. And as long as he doesn't have to play any short characters or. Any characters that are really going to pressure him anytime he needs to pull banana, um, he can absolutely do it. Yep. And on top of that, the last thing is if Siegel can get his kills due to the fact that uh, Diddy's confirms have been heavily, heavily uh, neutered. Interesting it's team that show. Just Roy. <laughs> right, whatever. Anyways. Not, not, not Roy Roy, but Roy. Roy. <laughs> It's one of the interesting things about um, about Diddy because I always remember people saying like there are certain characters in Smash that just cannot be bad due to the fact they have X, Y, and Z. And Sakura, I was like, bad. <laughs> like, oh, Diddy's always been good. That's what people said about Bale. They thought like, man, her character design is so good she'll never be bad. But uh, yeah. Sakura, I was like, like what uh, if we just made her moves not work? Yeah, <laughs> make it to where uh, people Ooh. fall out of her up tilt sometimes. All right. All right. ZD starting Fox though. He he wants to end this now. Yep. Wow. Putting on a bunch of pressure again. It's it's much like a crew battle. It's like where are you going to put your big gun? You're going to put him at the front to make sure you get as big of a lead as possible. You're going to put him at the back to make sure that you can close it out. You're going to put them somewhere in the middle to make sure you can stop the bleeding. There's yep. there's a lot of different places that you can put uh, your main in. A lot of it shows what your uh, thought process and strategy is. So I'm assuming ZD's like. I'm going to try at least taking three stocks with Fox, and then my other character should be able to take the last two stocks fairly cleanly. So, Indeed. But let's see if this Roy pays off for Seagull, because this is this is just the most interesting choice. I'm assuming Joe did it for matchup unfamiliarity, I'm assuming. Yeah, I've also never really seen his Roy. Ooh, goes for the down smash. Not going to get it. But still, meaty Ariel is going to put on some pressure. Uh, Siegel not going to pick up that Mecha Koopa after it's dropped. One of the interesting things, what interesting changes to Mecha Koopa in this game is if it hits shield, you can just immediately grab it. You don't have to do anything really? fancy. Yeah, that's 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 one of the things that I think made Bowser Jr. kind of worse. That's uh, unfortunate. Because like you can just be like, all right, shield, and then pick it up. But then again, due to the fact that shield also takes longer to drop, maybe it's not as terrible as it uh, might, uh, as many people might think it is. I see. It's probably exactly as terrible. I don't know anything about Bowser Jr., so I'm glad that you knew that because I definitely <laughs> did. But uh, finally taking the Fox Sock with Diddy Kong. And uh, let's see if this Diddy can run it back. All right. All right. Nair okay. something. Going to slip on his own banana due to the fact that uh, it was in the possession of ZD a moment ago. Yes. All right. Monkey flip. Ah, uh, yeah. See, that's, that's one of the big changes that makes uh, it really hard for Diddy to play. It's like, yes, Diddy has banana. Yes, Diddy can still use banana. Yes, banana as a projectile is technically better. But at the same time, uh, 
it's so much more of a commitment to be able to catch banana, whereas in Smash 4, you sort of just uh, throw it up, Ooh. catch it with a quick aerial or air dodge here. Not so much. Yep, absolutely. All right, putting on pressure on the corner. I wonder if he could have combo dash attack into fair right there. I have no idea. How good is Diddy's dash attack in this game? Uh, it's better in this game than it was in the last game because it pops them upwards now. Mm. So you can definitely possibly get follow-ups, but I'm not a Diddy player, so I'm not 100% sure. All right. All right, good back air. Okay, jab into Raw Bear, but uh, Joe being able to spot dodge. Very nice. Um, so I heard his smash attacks were also nerfed because in Smash 4, I'm, I'm pretty sure that would kill right there. All right, down tilt into nothing. Has to put on some pressure here. All right, good there. Man. Oh, man. Gets hit with the sweet spot bear, and uh, DD gets deleted. <laughs> Indeed. All right, good there. We have Wolf out here. Yeah, and ZD two characters ahead, but that up B going to catch that uh, attempted edge guard. That move is so cheesy. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man, I can't believe that kill right there. All right, now we actually get to see ZD's Lucina. Yep. Okay. Not necessarily a character that's too complex, so uh, nope. absolutely fundamentals-based, so ZD should absolutely be able to do something here, but... Uh, then again, Siegel knows this matchup. He does. Plays against uh, Dexter sometimes, Ramsey when he comes out. Wow. Excellent counter there. That was, that was him knowing Joe, straight up. He knew Joe was going to do side B right there. All right, he tries to put on some pressure there. Joe had a huge deficit right now. This is not looking good at all. No, not one bit. Okay. Ooh. Goes for the forward smash, which is a good idea, but just doesn't manage to catch uh, Siegel in a vulnerable state there. Oh. Okay, down to it. All right. Oh, nice. Down tilt fair. Can Can Joe crank this back? All right. Ooh, Ooh. Caught, catches the jump. <gasps> oh, Joe was feeling himself right there. He called it out. He just mistimed the down smash right there. Yeah, that was such a smart idea, as evidenced by the fact that ZD did end up landing right by him. Just did not manage to hit. Nope. Ooh. Wow, he called out that jump. He was he ZD was like, I know where you're going to go, and uh, I'm going to leave this up smash for you.